Welcome back. Well, here's a look at the precipitation around the region right now. Most of it is in the Sierra where we are starting to see some lightning strikes as well. We're also likely to start seeing some of those showers make it into the Reno area this evening. Now, as far as weather watches and warnings, here's a look at what we're seeing this evening. We still have that winter storm warning in effect for the Sierra. Now, this goes overnight into early tomorrow morning and expires right around 4 a.m. And just west of us, we actually have a flood advisory for a good portion of the area. Actually, this entire green area right here. Also a flash flood warning is possible. We do have uh, temperatures higher than normal, which could possibly melt the snow and cause some flooding issues for the area. We'll certainly keep you up to date and keep an eye on it for right now. And temperatures right now, 53 degrees in Reno. We are seeing mostly cloudy skies and it is quite a bit breezy, um, a little bit breezier than what we saw last night. Winds right now south about 21 miles an hour, gusts reaching up to 32 miles an hour. The airport will also seeing very windy conditions in Lake Tahoe as well. So if you do have plans to be driving in that area, certainly be careful on the roads this evening. Our high temperature this afternoon made it to about 55 degrees above our average, and we're actually going to see pretty similar weather just like this over the next few days with a little bit less rain. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a few seconds, but let's get through the evening for now. Your Lake Tahoe forecast temperatures are going to drop down into the mid 30s. We do have that winter storm warning in effect overnight. Roads could be slick, so certainly be careful if you do plan on traveling over the past. So far, no restrictions have been issued right now, but that could change very quickly and roads can get slick as those temperatures continue to drop. The snow level is about 7,000 feet. Now we could see up to five inches of new snow around the Lake Tahoe area and certainly up in the higher elevated areas uh, up to eight inches above 7,500 feet. So we'll certainly keep an eye on that. Winds this evening still pretty gusty. Ridge tops gusts reaching about 70 miles an hour for tonight. For your Reno and Sparks forecast, we'll drop down to temperatures really only in the 40s, not too shabby, mostly cloudy skies. Showers are more likely to be the rain this evening because we're not really going to get below that freezing mark tonight. Patchy fog can be expected just after midnight. We're likely to wake up to some areas of patchy fog as well, especially in the Carson Valley. So again, be careful on those roadways, whether it's slick or whether you see a lot of fog, create that distance and drive safe, everybody. And as we take a look at our future er, at our satellite map, you can see a lot of this storm is actually weaker than the storm that we saw yesterday, but it's still going to bring us a little pitter patter here and there. Likely to see some snow and rain mixed showers in the mountains. May see some of that rain spill over into the valley for Thursday. After that, we can actually start to expect some, uh, to see some drier conditions over the next couple of days. We'll take a look at temperatures for tomorrow, upper 40s to low 50s for highs tomorrow in the mountains. Valley highs in the south, mostly the mid 50s for the afternoon. We're looking at about 65 degrees for your high tomorrow in Las Vegas. Farther up north, we'll also see those temperatures above average. We're looking at about 52 degrees in Winnemuc, also 52 in Lovelock. Mid 50s around Fallon, slightly cooler in Dayton, also at 52 degrees. Your valley highs for tomorrow, pretty uh, similar to what we saw for today. Mostly low 50s for your afternoon highs. We're projecting upper 40s for the Virginia City area, 47 degrees for incline, and it looks like 48 degrees for your high tomorrow in Truckee. Let's take a look at some of those neighborhoods. Overnight tonight's actually not going to be too bad. Pretty similar to what we saw last night. Like I mentioned, slick roads can be expected. Temperatures falling into the mid and upper 30s through most neighborhoods. Highs tomorrow slightly above average with low with highs in the low to mid 50s in the afternoon. 47 degrees for your high tomorrow for your Lake Tahoe forecast. Cloudy skies. We've got a pretty solid chance of a shower activity expected. Snow level still expected to be around 7,000 feet. Light winds can be expected in the afternoon. And for your Reno and Sparks forecast, not as much rain as what we saw for today. Areas of patchy fog in the morning skies becoming partly cloudy by the afternoon. Light winds expected for the bulk of the day. And as we take a look at the next seven days where we got a weekend in every forecast, very slight chance of showers on Thursday. After that, much drier conditions expected into the weekend. Now we actually may see some shower activity for the Lake Tahoe area Friday into Saturday, but it's a very weak system. I really don't think it's going to bring us any major impact. So we're going to see mostly dry conditions for the next several days for Reno. All right, Chloe, thank you. Mm -hmm.